here I am in uh, Pennsylvania. Been riding for maybe about uh, two hours so far. Uh, maybe about two and a half. Rained a little bit, so I've got my rain suit on, as you can see. And uh, the last ride's been pretty nice. I was on I-90 in uh, western New York. And uh, over the last 10 miles or so, there was a bunch of grapes. And I got the smell that, in fact, uh, I think those are grapes right there, if you could see them. And something about riding on a motorcycle is that you can smell everything, which is really cool. So, really nice, uh, nice ride so far. And I gotta head over and uh, get through this state, and then uh, get into Ohio for today. Show you what the weather's doing real quick. It's kind of been threatening on and off. You can see back here; it's particularly dark. But it's starting to get in uh, rolling hills and uh, instead of the flat areas. Also, the leaves have started to change, which is really nice. Uh, some reds, some yellows, and I uh, saw one tree that was red right in the center. It looked like it had been uh, like a gunshot wound or something. Just bright red leaves right in the center, uh, and the rest were still green. Really kind of cool. So this Toledo, I got here about uh, 8.30 last night and uh, I'm staying with my buddy Josh Coburn from college. This is his place. It's a pretty nice place. He's at work right now and I've just been uh, kind of catching up on some stuff. But uh, yesterday's ride was crazy. It rained on me basically the last, I don't know, three hours of, of the uh, ride. Luckily, towards the end, when I was getting close to Toledo, the rain let up and uh, I was able to dry out a little bit, but um, it confirmed one thing that I prepared fairly well for the rain. All my stuff stayed fairly dry in plastic bags and in my waterproof bag, so that's pretty good. And today I'm just uh, kind of recovering from that long trip and I'm heading up to Ann Arbor tonight, so it's good. So this is Josh Cobran. Uh, this is the courthouse that uh, he works at. It's a pretty cool courthouse. This is the district course of the Northern District of Ohio. And uh, he just showed me inside. Unfortunately, I couldn't take any pictures because the security guards took my picture or took my cameras. And uh, but I did I was able to see a jury selection, which was really kind of interesting. Saw two jurors. I'm not sure if they're going to be accepted or not. But um, yeah, it was a good experience. So you can see kind of a beautiful area in downtown Toledo. And I'm going to take a couple pictures with Josh and then get out of here, get out of his way so he can get back to his day. Hey, I'm in the Toledo Museum of Art right now looking at the glass exhibit and it's pretty amazing all these uh, all these different pieces. Basically the glass exhibit um, comes from a large collection from the Libby glass company which was founded by Edward Libby when he came over to Toledo and settled here from England and made Toledo one of the glass capitals of the world with all this glass. I'm going to show you some images in a second but him coming over here allowed this museum to get founded and since then has taken off and become a pretty pretty nice art museum all free. Really cool. So I wanted to show you the, the uh, real big piece from the time period. This is known as the punch bowl standing cups and it won the World Fair 1904 uh, showstopper. Um, at that point it was known as the biggest cut piece of glass in the world weighing an incredible 143 pounds. So here it is. The detail and I'll try to get real close so you can see the detail.
Well, the uh, museum closed at four o'clock, so I only got to saw a little bit, but what I did see was pretty cool. Uh, so if you're ever in Toledo, man, hey, hit up the art museum. It's, it's pretty nice. Now I'm back, my bike's all packed up. I'm leaving Josh's place. That's it up there. And I'm off to Ann Arbor, so let the adventure continue.